What's up guys? Today is Sunday. I'm going back to school today. So I have a couple things that I need to do today before I go back to school. And one of those things includes something very exciting that I'm going to tell you guys about right now. I got a boat. I came home to an early Christmas present, which was my very own bass boat. Now, that being said, it's November here in Pennsylvania, and it's November everywhere else in the world as well. <laughs> so I have to winterize said boat, and she's in need of a good TLC. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to give her some love and care, get her ready for the winter, and then we'll see what we can do with the rest of the day. I forgot to put my working hat on. Oh, you can't forget your working glasses. These puppies help me get work done. I'm running right now because I got to get to the fishing hole, go in the pond. I'll give you guys a little context once I get there as to what is going on in this video. All right, guys, what's up? At a pond, doing a little Lucky Craft lipless crankbait that I got in um, my mystery tackle box. I think you guys need a little context as to what's really going on in this video, because it kind of just jumped from me, you know, winterizing my boat, which I just got this week. So now me running across the field to get to the fishing spot. Okay, okay, so this video. Basically, I was home for Thanksgiving break, right? Is that a fish? No. I was home for Thanksgiving break and ended up getting an early Christmas present, which was a boat. So I had to winterize that before I went back to school. So that was my number one priority. I didn't do a ton of fishing because I wanted to get that done. Once I got done fishing, or once I got done winterizing my boat, I had some other stuff that I needed to do before I got, went back to school. And we're getting some work on our house done right now, so I need to help my mom and stepdad get some stuff moved around. So I really wanted to go fishing. It was looking like I wasn't going to be able to go fishing. But... My mom said they wouldn't need me for another 15, 30 minutes, so I can go fishing until she calls me. Hence why I was sprinting over here, because I wanted to get as much time as I possibly could to come out here and throw some crankbaits. Now that that context is set, let's catch some bass. Jeez Louise, 
Why is there more vegetation in this pond now than there is in the freaking summer? Like, where's this vegetation at when I want to fish frogs in the summer? Guess I'll fish those deep waters out there. Well, that's it. The day is over. I have to go back and help finish moving things and then <laughs> I'm back on the train off to New York, back to school for a couple weeks and my finals. And then I'm back to this beautiful place for Christmas break and so on and so forth. So I tried, I tried to make something happen today for the purpose of this video with terms of fishing. I guess it kind of just turned into a really, really short, really <laughs> bad vlog. <laughs> um, look, I, I'll be honest guys, fishing is hard right now, fishing is tough right now. The bass are pretty much like done for winter, so it's to that point where they're just going to be so inactive using as little energy as they possibly can. So, I came out and tried to throw something around today, see if I can get a couple nice ones, but they didn't want to participate. So basically I'm done bass fishing for the winter because it's going to get real cold real soon here in Pennsylvania. I don't have the means or money to travel anywhere so I can fish during the winter in other states. But the only hope we have is maybe some ice fishing and some trout fishing in the future. But as far as that goes, I'll just be unboxings and other random ass stuff from here on out. So once again, everybody, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit, hit it with a thumbs up. If you dislike it, hit it with a thumbs down. Have a good night, everybody. And remember that the tug is the drug. Mm -hmm.